here is the Robot Wars arena so far. Um, we've got all the hazards from the new series going on. So over on the far side to the right, we have the flame pit. Uh, top of the screen is the uh, floor flipper. Bottom of the screen currently is the pit. And over on the left is the spikes. And I shall show them all in working order using these four robots. So starting off with the flame pit, as you can see dead moose would be being fried here. There are some effects to go in afterwards, I want to add some sort of smoke machine under there and maybe an orange LED to simulate fire. Not sure quite how that's going to be feasible or work yet, but uh, it's a plan for the future with that one. Next up is the arena spikes and they're controlled by that white switch just down there. And I'll just show you how that works with uh, second offence. As you can see, these spikes come out of the ground with this coming down, them going up, and second offence is pinned for attacks from any side. It is actually quite well stuck there. Then it comes down like that, and they can get away again, like so. Next up, Dan Tomkier is on the floor flipper, and I shall just show you how that works. It's all to do with that white switch again. As you can see, it's very powerful, and you just have to reset it by hand. The switch comes up, this wooden peg comes out, and the flipper goes over. Obviously, this hinge is sort of another hazard, as it can uh, get the robot stuck on it. Dramatic. Lastly is the Pit of Oblivion and um, Mellow Yellow Bear has been conked out and is waiting for the pit to descend. It works using this screw just down here. So you pull that, it opens it up and the two sides fold down. Uh, that was the easiest way of doing it. As you can see they both fall down at the same time, the trapdoors. And uh, it's not overly deep, but that does mean it's easier for resetting. Simply take out, bring these up uh, from below, hold them in place, and just slide this back in afterwards.